My next upload for this evening I'll keep as brief as possible but it just regards the issue of health and well-being and the issues of medical treatment that has been withheld from me since um, my child's birth in 2015 for no apparent reason, for no justifiable reason except due to hate crime and treason. So tonight I'm raising the issue of the developments of guilty culprits for treasonous offences continuing their damages to my body. Um, as I've mentioned, since I gave birth, the reparations to my body have not been met and these people have refused to face the evaluation, the um, assessment and the risks and damages and costs that have been incurred to this person as a consequence of damages, harms and losses to my physical and spiritual light body. Um, the issue I'm raising is just tonight the continuation of these people in society that are damaging my physical anatomy as they have done since 2016. Um, they have harmed, as I've documented throughout these uploads in this documentary of current affairs um, and human rights issues, the matters of my anatomy having been affected by individuals using body particles and their um, specialised developments that I have not consented to. Now, as I've mentioned in the earlier uploads of this documentary, my cranium has been damaged by these people since 2016 and only tonight um, there is further attempts to damage my physical well-being. So these people are not in any consensual contract of any sort um, with me to be invasively intrusive. Um, they have already offended um, very powerful gifts, light and blessings of my spiritual purpose. They've also assisted in harms to a baby boy that I gave birth to and they have also um, been of daily um, intrusive activities regarding my personal space and my personal well-being. So this is just for the attention of the United Nations, the European Court of Human Rights, etc., that are fully aware of my circumstances and the issues that are being caused for me in a community that is highly ungrateful for the positive progress that has been um, achieved as a consequence of 2018 prior to COVID-19. So um, these people are also assistance to care providers that trespassed onto my private property in 2017 and were responsible for unlawful detainments and breaches of confidentiality. These practitioners had no consent to discuss me and they had no right to trespass onto my private property in 2017. It is now 2021 and the circumstances that I am living in are a blatant, blatant, blatant uh, mark of disrespect to the Constitution and the Declaration. So basically, um, there's a free-for-all happening in Trilly County Kerry from my good work and my fortune and my spiritual purpose as an avatar grandmaster. Um, these individuals have been damaging my anatomy um, that I'm referring to since 2016 and the care providers that have been trespassing and intruding and slandering my good name have been in action since 2017. So there's a lot of problems being caused in Tralee that are being waylaid and evaded and there are individuals helping themselves to um, goods that they have no right to whatsoever. And those individuals that have been developing from my uh, purpose have also shown a blatant lack of regard for good practice and professionalism. So I hope all the good women of the world are fully aware of the very dangerous matters that the government of Ireland are ignoring um, that they were made aware of since 2017. Uh, the Minister for Health heard from me first in 2017 and the Ombudsman for Children also heard from me in 2017. It is now 2021 and only tonight there are further damages being done to my livelihood and the legislation that I had an input in and influenced in 2018 is being disrespected as is my farm holding in Ardfert and my property on Mount the Kilflin Mountain. Um, so I'd appreciate 
the United Nations addressing the serious issues being caused for me unduly and inexcusably in Tralee County Kerry due to treason and hate crime and identity theft.